Hey guys, good morning. It's uh, early morning at Aizol and uh, today we'll be going to Long Thalai. Now, two weeks ago I had made a video on Saiha. Now, Saiha is around 8 miles uh, away from Long Thalai. Uh, and today uh, we'll be going via Kamsol. I've also made a video on Kamsol which you can check. Uh, so, we'll be going to Kamsol. And from there, around 25 miles further to the south is Long Thalai. Now, uh, Long Thalai is uh, approximately uh, at the elevation of uh, 3000 feet. So, let's check it out. And after, I don't have much time there. I'll only have around an hour. And uh, in that, I also have to have my lunch. So, I'll just go around the, uh, go around the town in a vehicle, if I get a vehicle. And then... Uh, I'll just shoot, uh, I, you'll just get an idea of how the place is uh, and after that I'll also brief you later uh, on whatever I get to know. It has been a really really long day. I could only get half an hour in Long Thalai but uh, I got to know quite a bit. First of all let's start with the meaning of the name Long Thalai. Uh, now uh, the, the, I, before I tell you that I'll have to tell you uh, who all reside in Long Thalai. There are three basic tribes. One is Lai. The number one tribe over there is Lai. The second is Chakma and the third is Mizo. So the Lai chief, uh, I can't even pronounce his name, but the Lai chief seized a boat, which was, uh, I, uh, I think, I don't even remember the name of the river, but there, there's a river and uh, he seized a boat, which was going down the river. So long means boat and Thalai means seized. So that is how the name Long Thalai came in. Uh, now, when it comes to education over there, there is uh, a Long Thalai College which comes under the Mizoram University. And uh, other than that, the main religion over there is Christianity. And the population is, uh, uh, I mean, it's not very densely populated. The people are pretty chilled out actually. They, they are very proud about their culture and the religion and their religious practices as well. Uh, and uh, Otherwise, the town is, I would say, slightly uh, uh, on the lazy side, I would say. I mean, there's not much going on. People are uh, chilled out, easy going. That's what I would say. Uh, and, and other than that, the market, I went around the market a bit. There's nothing much. There's nothing really special out there. But uh, it's still pretty okay for uh, that kind of a small town. And uh, not only that, uh, the transportation is of course us, Pawan Hans. And other than that, uh, there is uh, a jeep. There's jeeps and sumos going up and down uh, to Siaha and of course uh, even to uh, uh, to Aizol as well. So that's the basic things about uh, Long Thalai. I hope you liked the video though it's not much. Uh, but uh, that's it from me. Have a good day guys.